our review. What are the five points again? Grace, man, God, Christ, faith. Okay, let's add the sub points. Grace, ready go. Grace, eternal life is a free gift. We can turn it. Man, there is a worldwide problem. We can solve it. God, God is loving, but God is also just. Christ, Christ is both. He died on the cross. He rose from the dead. He paid the penalty for our sins. Alone for eternal life. Okay, so let's do it again. Ready, go. Grace, eternal life is a free gift. We can't earn it. Man, there is a worldwide problem. We cannot solve it. God, God is loving, but God is also just. Christ, Christ is both God and man. He died on the cross. He rose from the dead. He paid the penalty for our sins. Faith, faith is, faith is trusting in Christ alone for eternal life. Okay, and then we have added uh, stories. So we'll try to work on that once you get your notes uh, from uh, uh, Eloisa. Okay, so what are the stories again? The gift story, the egg story, Garcia story, the book story, and then the boat story. So if you add that in the hand, okay, let's practice this. Ready, go. Grace, eternal life. Ready, go. Ready, go. Grace, eternal life is a free gift. We can earn it. Man, there is a worldwide problem. We cannot solve it. God, God is loving. God is also just. Christ, Christ is both God and man. He died on the cross. He rose from the dead. He paid the penalty for our sins. Faith, faith is not just head belief. Faith is trusting in Christ alone for eternal life. So the five stories, give story for grace. You have the egg, you have Garcia, you have book and the boat. Okay? So what will we do now? Let's uh, try to add the Bible verses. Okay? So these are very familiar, actually popular verses. And uh, you will realize na that you know most of them. Just one verse per point. Okay? So you have the takeoff, you have the actual flight, and then you have the main points there. You have the story, and then you have the passage. Okay? So try to work on those verses. You, you know Ephesians 2, 8, and 9, right? Yes. We'll just work on uh, verse 9. And then Matthew 5, 48, you know that? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Okay? Exodus 34, 7. God will not leave the guilty unpunished. Isaiah 53, 6, you know, we all like sheep have gone astray. Okay? And then John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Okay? So here are the main points. You have the sub points. You have the stories, and you have the Bible verses. Okay? So familiar verses, right? Uh, and then you have the actual landing. So let's add the verses. Let's begin uh, with uh, what is familiar. So maybe let's begin with Ephesians 2, uh, 9. Now what we're using here is actually the CSB, uh, CEB, no? Contemporary English Version. Remember, what is the first point? Grace, eternal life is a free gift. We can earn it. So the Bible says, it isn't something you have earned, so there is nothing you can brag about. So it's easy to connect, right? Grace, eternal life is a free gift. We can, we can earn it. The Bible says, it is not something you have earned, so there is nothing you can brag about. Can you easily remember that? Huh? Okay, so just... Just think of a new verse rather than thinking of the other version. No, because here it's clearer that it's not something we can brag about. No, it's because it's something that we cannot earn. Now, are you familiar with Matthew 5.48? Be perfect therefore as your heavenly Father is perfect, right? Be perfect therefore as your heavenly Father is perfect. Can we say that together? Ready, go. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Matthew 5, 48. Exodus 34, 7b. 
God says he does not leave the guilty unpunished. So God says he does not leave the guilty unpunished. And then Isaiah 53.6, we all like sheep, ready, go. We all like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has strayed his own way. The Lord that laid on him, the sin of us all. So that's a very familiar one. And then for faith, we use John 6, 40, uh, John 14, 6. Ready, go. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Okay, those are the five verses. So if you want to uh, remember keywords, grace, it is not something you have earned, so there is nothing you can brag about. The keyword is brag. God says, be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. No? And then, uh, God, He doesn't leave the guilty unpunished. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. It's a bus has turned its own way. And the Lord laid on Him the sin of us all. I am the way, the truth, and the light. No one comes to the Father except through me. Okay. So, those are the five verses that you would want to incorporate in your presentation. Okay? So, let's try to, to work on this presentation. Let's do the five main points first. Ready, go. Grace. Grace. Eternal life is a free gift. We can earn it. Man, there is a worldwide problem. We can solve it. God is loving, but God is also just. Christ is both, both God and man. He died on the cross. He rose from the dead. He paid the penalty for our sins. Faith. Faith is not just head belief. Faith is trusting in Christ alone for eternal life. Okay, and then what's the story? Give, egg, Garcia, book, and both. What are the verses? Ephesians 2, 9. It isn't something you have earned, so there is nothing you can brag about. Again, it isn't something you have earned, so there is nothing you can brag about. Matthew 5, 48. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Exodus 34, 7. He does not leave the guilty unpunished. Isaiah 53, 6. All we like sheep have gone astray. It's a must has turned its own way. And the Lord that laid on him the sin of us all. John 14, 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So this is your presentation. So it's a matter of putting things together. But is it helping? Huh? So if you use the basketball, you can even explain better. No? Uh, you use uh, even the, the share your faith then you can explain even more. So here, you can be more flexible in your gospel presentation. Okay? So, of course, there is the introduction. Uh, the purpose is to build friendship. We were saying that flying an airplane is the takeoff, no? And landing is the commitment. So you have to really learn it. Otherwise, uh, you will have problems. Okay? So regarding the introduction, just remember aid. No? So A, get the person's attention. That's letter A, attention. I is build interest. C is create desire to follow Jesus. Attention, interest, desire. A, okay? So what do you do first? Get the person's attention. So talk about things that will get their attention. Something that would be, uh, be of interest to them. So build on that. And then create a desire for them to follow Jesus. Okay, so that's the introduction. And then you can work on your presentation. So what's aid again? Attention, interest, and desire. Okay? And then, of course, uh, you have the, the landing. Now, there are many ways to share uh, using this presentation. No? So you can just say, uh, say, if you meet a, met, uh, meet a friend and say, you know, I've been praying for you. And the reason why is because there are five very important things that I would like to share with you. Number one, yeah, you say, eternal life is a free gift. No? Uh, there are five things that I would like to share with you. Number one, it's about grace. Eternal life is a free gift. No? It's uh, not something you can earn, so there is nothing you can brag about. The Bible says so. Eternal life is a free gift. We can earn it. And let me tell you a story. And then you can tell the story. Okay? And then secondly, you can just say, uh, there is a worldwide problem. You don't even have to say the main points actually. 
No? So you just say, there are five things I would like to share with you first. Eternal life is a free gift. We can earn it. No? And then uh, the, the, the Bible says, it isn't something you have earned, so there is nothing you can brag about. So let me tell you a story. No? Or you can say, uh, there are important things that I would like to share with you. First, eternal life is a free gift. We can earn it. Let me tell you a story. And then after the story, you can, you can use. The Bible says, it isn't something you burn, so there's nothing you can brag about. And then, then you can say, secondly, there is a worldwide problem. We cannot solve it. No? Uh, and then suppose you visited my house and I would give you, you know, uh, some, uh, prepare something for you. Uh, so I want to make an omelet. So I got six eggs. So I break the five eggs. It was all good. The, the six egg was rotten. It's smelly. But anyway, I said, oh, this should be okay. Five are good anyway. One will not make, uh, make it really a bad one. And so what happened? Would you, would you eat it? No. no. And again, be careful because there are uh, people that are eating rotten egg. So use the water with a drop of poison. Okay, and then thirdly, you say, God is loving, but God is also just. And then you can relate the story of Garcia. And then from there, actually... Uh, you can, uh, you know, uh, continue by saying, number four, uh, Christ is both God and man. He died on the cross. He rose from the dead. He paid the penalty for our sins. Then tell the record book uh, story. And then you can use uh, the Bible verse. That's included in the story, right? We all like sheep have gone astray. Remember that? Yeah. And then faith is not just, uh, so the fifth thing you say is, faith is not just head belief. Faith is trusting in Christ alone for eternal life. And then share the story. And remember, at the end of the boat story, you have Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Okay? So this is actually uh, the, the presentation. Now, let me go back to that uh, presentation. Uh, let's try to to work on something here. Okay, so you have your aid, attention. So this is the notes that you'll be having actually. Attention, start the conversation with this. No? So use a good question, cause curiosity, offer a gift, be friendly, smile at the person, start with something funny or from everyday life. But the point is, get their attention. Okay, so after that, then interest. Here are a few examples. I found something that changed my entire life. What is the best thing that happened to you? And then you come up with question. Can I tell you what's the best thing that happened to me? So build interest. You know? And then uh, those are samples. And then these are created the desire to follow Jesus. You can also share your personal testimony. We had been friends for many years, and I've been praying for you. And uh, may I share with you five very, five very important things. Number one, eternal life is a free gift. You know, and then just go through those five points. Okay? But you can also expand by saying, uh, there are five things, that are very important things that I would like to share with you. First, eternal life is a free gift. We can earn it. And then you may even add, no? These, these are like ad-libs that you can add. It's hard to understand how some, something can be totally free with no string attached. Eternal life, eternal life is like that. It's free. God says it, it's, it isn't something you've earned, so there is nothing you can brag about. Suppose my best friend would surprise me with an expensive car. So you notice the flow? And then after that, uh, you can earn eternal life by paying for it just because uh, God gives it to us for free. Second, there's a worldwide problem. If you, you take a look around us, we would see that there are major problems in the world and even in us. So it's like the funnel. You know the funnel? Uh, the funnel, you know? Yeah, yeah, from big to small. So you can see here, uh, you start, for example, from, okay, from the world towards our country, city, and then more personal. So you can say, uh, if we look at the world around us, we will see that there are major, pro major problems in the world and even in us. You, 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 if, if you watch television, you read newspapers, you will see that there are wars, there are, you know, uh, a lot of things that's going on. And that's not just there, but even here in the Philippines, there's something like that that just happened, and it's still happening in Marawi City, you know, and then uh, you, you, you see this happening all over. 
And then you can also say like, uh, you see killings, you see all of this. And this is what the Bible calls sin. You know? So you can just narrow down from global, from, from macro to micro. From global, from world, down uh, to uh, individuals. So this is what the Bible calls sin. And uh, that in actually includes us. No? Uh, we have fall short, fallen short of God's standard. Because the Bible says, be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. So, so this, these are some of the things that you can add. And then you can see there, I don't know about you, but there's no way I can make it to be perfect. So what if I were to make you an omelette? I take six good eggs, and then you just go to the story. And then third, God is loving. One of the things we hope that is true if, if, is that there is a God and, there's, and that he is loving. In fact, the Bible says God is love. He is loving and he doesn't want to punish us. God also says that he is just. And the same Bible that tells us that God is loving also tells us that God is just. Can God be both loving and just at the same time? Sounds impossible. But suppose there was a man so you can work on the story. Okay? So here is a very conversational presentation of the gospel that you can just follow. Okay? So all you need to do is to just read through this and then uh, possibly, uh, you know, work on the key, key points. Now, in the area of commitment, we just normally ask, does this make sense to you? Meaning, have they understood? Okay? And then if they said yes, would you like to receive the gift of eternal life? And then you can just ask, if this is what you want, I can lead us in prayer and we can tell God what you just told me. And then pray for them. Okay? Now, notice the prayer has three parts. First here, pray for them. So, what would be the content for them to understand, repent, and believe? Understand the gospel, they will repent of their sins, they believe, they believe Christ for eternal life. And then pray with them, bits of the gospel, because they have to say the prayer and appropriate the gift of eternal life. Okay? So you can say, Father, I ask you to give who want understanding and the faith to believe in your Son, Jesus Christ, Enable him to receive Christ as his Savior, to repent of his sins, and to give you control of his life. And then you can say, Now who want repeat this prayer after me. Dear God, thank you that, you that eternal life is a free gift. I know that I've sinned and I cannot earn it. Thank, uh, thank you. Uh, oh, wait. Thank you for Christ who died for me. And by faith, I now transfer my trust to you and receive the gift of eternal life. And then, Father, thank you for hearing who wants prayer. I thank you for giving him eternal life and I ask you to give him assurance that now he has eternal life and that his sins are forgiven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So three parts. Number one, pray for them to understand the gospel, repent of their sins, and believe Christ for eternal life. The second part is you lead them in the prayer. And then third, you pray for them for assurance. It's not us, but it's the Holy Spirit that will give them assurance that they have eternal life. Okay? And that's it. What have we learned so far? Yeah, we, we, we learned that we need to be intentional. You know, we need, we need to uh, really be intentional in our, in our evangelism, in our discipleship. We need to play our role as royal priests. We need to make disciples that makes disciples. Remember the 4G paradigm. We want to see a movement rather than just uh, us doing everything. So all of those principles. And then we... We talk about the, some tools that you can learn. So remember, this tool, if you don't have anything, you can use your hands. If they have gadgets, then you can use your gadgets. Okay? But uh, we can make use of a a anything uh, that will, you know, like fit in the context when you go and share with them. Okay? Okay?